Hey everybody, I'm Robert the Zombie Bargain Hunter and today is what sold on eBay for May 11th through the 17th. Uh, before I get started on the video, just wanted to let everybody know I'll be live on Courtney's channel, which is Bolo Buddies. I'll be there from uh, well 7 p.m. Pacific to whenever we get done. <laughs> so be sure to bring all your bolos. Hopefully you can bring some plush bolos. <laughs> you know my channel. Plush collectibles. So go and support uh, Courtney. And let's get right into the video. Uh, I brought this guy back because I know he came out in the end of my last video. So I decided to show him off again. <laughs> uh, thank you, Noel. Uh, she sent me the mystery bags over. But this is a, you can see it's a dookie <laughs> unicorn. He was at the very end of my last video. So I wanted to bring him back. It, it actually poops out. <laughs> it poops out the rainbow unicorn poop, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, uh, enough with him. We have a lot of uh, items. To sh I have a lot of items to show you, so let's get right into it. Alrighty. All right. Starting May 11th through the 17th, I did three thousand nine hundred and sixty dollars and five cents, which was thirty-one point two percent up from the prior week. Um. Uh, Compared to the last 31 days, I'm um, down 6.2%, so not big, but I'm still 103% up from last year. I did get another negative. <laughs> uh, I can't get away from them. Look, I have revised three. I actually revised four, so I don't know um, why it says revised three. But anyways, I got those other four that I told you uh, the prior week about but now I got another one it says seller offered a return on this item sent dirty wasn't new as listed I got those directly off of GameStop um, they were on the the display so I don't know how they were dirty I checked them maybe they had a little spot or something but anyways I just put sorry I purchased them from GameStop new must have missed it feel free to return I don't don't know what else to tell him. He bought two of them, so I don't know how they're both dirty. I'll just keep this negative. I'm not going to deal with it. It's too much of a hassle right now. A lot of angry people out there. <laughs> All right, let's start with what's sold. So the last of these Southside uh, blankets. The Serpents from Riverdale. They went pretty fast. Well, way faster than I expected. They all sold for, uh, well, most of them sold for $17.99. This last one sold for $16.19, and all eight of them sold. What do we have? Another Power Ranger. Power Rangers actually sold pretty well. I have a bunch that I still haven't listed because they were kind of the same. They were like the Pink Ranger with a different gun or like a bow. So I didn't list them all, so I got to get those listed. Anyways, she sold for $17.99. And three of them sold. Robotech. I have a bunch of these. I believe I bought like 25. And they're light up. They're really cool. Look at this. Come on. Come on, picture. <laughs> Doesn't want to cooperate. But look, they light up like this. They have a little base. They're really cool. I'm selling them for $15.99. So... Got fourteen thirty nine with my ten percent off sale right now. I still have thirteen left, so I expected them to sell a lot faster, but I guess not a lot of people looking for Robotech. Uh, this is Rick and Morty Spaceship Garage. Actually, I've had these since uh, Toys R Us closed down. So what is that? A year, year and a half ago, I bought these on the, one of the last days. They were like eighty, ninety percent off. I forget what it was. But it was real inexpensive, so I figured they would sell fast. They were going great on eBay. They had a great uh, price on eBay, but no, nobody bought them. And all of a sudden, this week, they sold all three for $22.49. All right, this is from my Ghostbusters mystery box that I opened, uh, if anybody watched that video. It's a the Photon Blaster from Ghostbusters it's just one of the it just sits on your desk it's 
really interesting. But it's very breakable. I already broke one. <laughs> I guess I had to keep that one. I broke this right here. This little thing off the top. Uh, they're super breakable. So uh, I repacking everyone with bubble wrap and everything. But anyways, uh, this one sold for twenty six ninety nine. Not bad since I only paid like $7 for the boxes. I uh, got a bunch of these. I believe it was either GameStop or... Best Buy, they came in stock, so I bought a bunch of these. Or they, I believe they were $199, and this pink coral one, for some reason, is in high demand. So I got them, and they sold within a few days. All three of them sold for $260, so it was a quick $60 profit. So keep an eye out for the Switch and pink. Not the other colors. The other colors are selling for... Almost uh, retail, but the pink ones right now, they're they are going crazy. Uh, the Supergirl, oh, man, I hate shipping her. <laughs> it says she's 12 inches, but the, the box is 14, so my boxes end at 12, so I always have to Frankenstein a box for her. Uh, it's one of the worst buys. I think I paid like $3 for her, and they're just a pain to ship, so I'm, hopefully they get rid of now, hopefully, I'll get rid of them all soon because they are just a pain to ship. Her and Batgirl, I have the, their superhero girls. Uh, the Slaughtered Lamb, it's a pint glass. Uh, the person uh, bought the last three, so I shipped out. So it was nice to just ship them all out at once. It's an American Werewolf in London. I don't think I've ever even seen that movie. Is it a movie or is it a program? I'm not even sure about that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, he paid like 50 something dollars a total for them. And they all sold. I have none left. They are gone. Uh, Star Wars, I just wanted to get rid of this. It was just, there was just one left and it was annoying me. <laughs> it had box damage, so nobody really wanted it for full price. So I just dropped it down to thirteen forty nine. Well, actually fourteen ninety nine, and just got rid of it as soon as I could. And finally sold for thirteen forty nine. Roblox. Here's one that was really, <laughs> it's really damaged. Look at this. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the close up. It is, it is messed up. I actually left it in my car. See, <laughs> I left it in my car and the sun just melted it. <laughs> you can see how bad it is. It's just terrible. It's <laughs> poor Roblox. It's just like, uh, well, if you know those shrinky dinks, that's what happened to it. It's all shh, it just shrank up. And it was only in the car for like two days, but the sun did a number on it. Anyways, I still got twenty one fifty nine for it, even though it's <laughs> that bad. Uh, Fallout 76, these cards, uh, sold two of them. Uh, another one of my mystery boxes that I purchased for, I believe, like $5 each. And the cards are alone or selling for eleven sixty nine a pack. I guess people are bored. They need cards to play with. Uh, this guy I got from the Goodwill bin, so maybe paid a quarter, 50 cents, depending. I don't even think he weighs that much, so probably like a quarter. And he sold uh, twelve fifty nine. It took a little while to sell, Bob, about six months, but it finally sold. Uh, these are out of another mystery box, the Batman mystery box. I opened again on my channel. Uh, not too interesting. Just uh, they're selling for twenty six ninety nine. Not bad out of a box that I maybe paid like eight dollars for. So yeah, that. That's a great markup there. I mean, and I have so many other items in that box. Uh, Harley Quinn. This is from Loot Crate. Paid very little for it. And this is just a makeup bag. Hangs on the door, I guess. Or toiletries. Whatever. <laughs> uh, six have sold so far for fourteen thirty nine. Finally got rid of this thing. Oh, I hated this thing. It, I had a bunch of these and they took up so much space. It doesn't show how big they are in the picture, but I'm guessing it's about two feet, maybe two and a half. It, it was huge. They were paying to ship off. Uh, the shipping cost me only like $12, $13, but they're just a pain to pack and ship off. And finally got rid of these. I'm so happy. <laughs> 
Um, sold the last one for thirty-one forty-nine. Just so happy to get rid of them. This one was actually a mistake. I sent this person the wrong uh, shirt. I grew, there's two Spider-Man shirts. They're uh, both red, so I sent them the wrong one. So what I did is I just uh, printed out another label, put it on another bag, and sent the correct shirt in with that bag. So he can just put the wrong shirt in the bag and ship it back to me. And he agreed to do it, and that's how we're going to fix this mess. Anyways, two sold of him for thirteen forty nine each. These, I don't know <laughs> why these are selling. The Loot Anime Crate Food Wars Cosplay Apron. I don't know what they are. Don't know what a petite house is, but I guess a lot of people do. As I have sold, I sold them all. I sold all I had. I had 10 total at the one time. And I sold four for thirteen forty nine. the last four. Uh, this guy came back. This was a return. I don't know if the person damaged it and sent it back. Because I packaged these guys pretty well. And there's a nasty mark here. Um, so, but anyways, uh, one person sent it back. And I'm just, alright. I'll just re relist it. And relist it. I lost about $5 because the, the first one sold for around 20 So I lost about $5. Anyways, um, it sold for thirteen forty nine with the box damage. So yeah, it's pretty bad damage. Uh, these I got from the Disney store. They're actually pretty cool. They were big sale on a bunch of toys and stuff, and then you took an additional. I believe it was like fifty percent off the clearance. So these were on clearance. I don't remember exactly how much they were, but they were almost nothing. And got thirteen forty nine. I still have three available. So. Uh, these Sonic, love these Sonic rings things. <laughs> uh, I only have two pictures. Yeah, they're actually pretty cool if you like Sonic. It just shows them going through the rings. Uh, sold seven so far. I still have four available. Actually, I had like probably like 30 of these guys, but um, got them off Loot Crate when their Loot Vault was closing down. And so it's been selling them for $15.29 with my 10% off right now. These I couldn't give away. Even when the movie came out, I don't know why people are buying them now. These are just frozen beach towels, but they're white. And I guess people don't like white because they get too dirty. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> just a guess. Um, had a bunch of them. Eight sold within the last few weeks. So it's really great to get rid of these guys. Because like I said, I couldn't even give these away. Even when the movie cropped out, I, I couldn't believe it. But... People are staying at home buying things now. Uh, Pennywise, I got these at uh, GameStop. These are one of my $3 buys at GameStop. Has damage everywhere. As some a lot of GameStop items do because people, the kids just play with them on the shelves and they don't pay attention to their kids. <laughs> so they just let them mess with them. Anyways, I got $14.39 for it so, and sold two. I think I have one left. That I had to relist. All right, on to the plush. <laughs> Here's the first funny monkey I have. It says, "Before I couldn't spell graduate, now I are one." <laughs> so it's a funny graduation monkey. There, you can see it up up close. Uh, I don't know what brand it was. Oh, it is a gun. So, yeah, it's a gun graduate. So it's a really nice monkey. He sold for fourteen thirty nine. This is a funny uh, pets unicorn, dog, dog unicorn, puppy unicorn. I don't know what you call them. They're putting horns and <laughs> wings on everything. So uh, this is a new line of fantasy pets. You can see right there from Kelly Toy. Nothing real special. Sparkle wings, but he sold for sixteen nineteen. So yeah, it was a great profit. And since I got him from the Goodwill bins for maybe fifty cents. Here's a nice size Ikea dogs. I've told you about Ikea in the past. I love Ikea. Ikea, this is a live league. Almost all Ikea brands sell for a good amount of uh, money. I mean, he's a nice little husky. He's pretty long. Let's see. How long is he? Oh, 
uh, about 28 inches long so yeah he's a good size he actually still made it first class he went under the 16 ounces so that was great just smushed him into a nice bag and he sold for 35.99 Yamani Japanese Sasurai no ten I'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna finish that <laughs> but anyways um, he's just a big squishy uh, cat pillow he's a Japanese squishy cat pillow you can see he's really really big he's got an X on him I don't know why but yeah this is what what's on his tag that's why I put it in the title anyways you see any things like that look out for them he sold for $26.99 and sold probably within uh, three weeks of what I put him up so it was a pretty quick sale for plush uh, boots uh, this is a door explorer monkey Boots sells almost pretty fast. Uh, this one sold, I think it took about a month, but that's actually fast for uh, plush. Gund is one of the brands you want to look for. On most items, Gund is, will bring up, instead of just play or other generic, uh, other generic brands, Gund will really bring up the price. So if you find one with uh, just play, it'll probably be like, like, for example, ten dollars. But if you find one with gun, you can probably raise it to like seventeen dollars. So, gun really brings up the price on these things, on the plush. Here's another large lion, giant Toys R Us. It's from Toys R Us. He's twenty-two inches. He's just a cool lion, little floppy, just splats down <laughs> from Animal Alley. And there, there's this face you can see it's really cool it's really uh, real realistic and he sold for $26.99 Build-A-Bear large panda bear I don't know why it says a uh, 1979 went for $20 but whatever <laughs> oh, what's a couple cent couple pennies uh, large black panda bear he's got cool feet I like the blue background and the black and white ones because they actually make it stand out. It's one of the older ones because that's one of the older tags. And that's it. <laughs> There's a panda nose for you. Anyways, he sold for $19.79 it says. I thought it was 20 bucks, but whatever. <laughs> uh, these flying Mario's. Keep a lookout for these flying Mario's. They're tiny. Um, they're very small, but... People are always buying them. I've I've sold about five of them, and they all sell within the week. He sold for sixteen nineteen. So yeah, keep a lookout for these flying guys. There's a bunch of them with the raccoon, um, a whole bunch of different Mario's. If you not the generic ones, and the generic ones will sell, but not as well as the like the raccoon or uh, just different ones. Look for different Mario's. Uh, the Rust Unicorn Cat. Another one of these guys sold. Cool little cat. Got this from another GameStop sale. They were selling plush for $3 a pop. So I bought all that they had, of course. <laughs> and got $15.29 for them. Sold four so far, and I still have two left. PD Piranha, another Super Mario Brothers. Just talked about the Super Mario people look for it. As long as it's original and doesn't have... Uh, yeah, so you can see right here, this is a Mario Party brand. But yeah, as long as this original has an original tag, you're you're good on these guys. They'll sell for a decent amount of money. This one sold for $17.99. This is, what went too far down, Rust Sugar, Sugar Cube Sheep. Uh, not so, not sure why this guy goes for such a good amount, but I guess people are looking for him. I mean, it is rust, but usually you go around $18, but this one was selling for around 22 so uh, I put him up for 23 and took a 10% off, so he sold for 20.69. so keep your eye out for a sugar cube sheep. Uh, this guy I've had for a while, he's still in the bag, I didn't want to take him out of the bag, because I mean, it's the original bag, you see from the Disney store. 
Now, it took a little while to sell because I guess <laughs> the pictures were really terrible because <laughs> he's in the bag. Anyways, I got 1709 for him. Yeah, this guy is a sprinkle kitty cat. He's <laughs> he's pretty funny looking. He's got little sprinkles all over him. They're, they're called klepto cats. They're all about the same shape and everything. And he went for sixteen nineteen and sold probably within two weeks of putting him up. Wild Republic Hot Flamingo. Nothing special about this guy. Just just a long flamingo from Wild Republic. <laughs> you can see he's got some black, pink, nothing special about a flamingo. Anyways, uh, he sold for fifteen twenty nine. Here's a cool Cairn Terrier dog. Almost like Toto from Wizard of Oz. You can see he's pretty long. It was uh, about 22 inches long. You can see on the picture. Really fluffy and furry and <laughs> made by Kelly Toy. He sold for $26.99. Uh, this is a Stitch. Disney Stitch. He's really small. So. Always keep your eye out for Stitch. They they sell pretty well and pretty fast. I mean, he didn't sell for much, twelve fifty nine. But since he's so tiny, if you find the bigger ones, they'll go twenty five thirty dollars easily. Especially if you get the Disney uh, seal on them. Uh, this Bullwinkle I've had for a long time. I've dropped the price a couple times. Uh, this one has an actually has a little ornament on him. You can see around his neck. He's tall. Let's see what size he is. He's uh, 22 inches tall. Yeah, you can see the ornament. There he is. <laughs> uh, there's Rocky around his neck. Yeah, 1996. Took a long time to sell him. I think I had him up for a few years. So finally knocked him down and sold for $26.99. So finally got rid of him. He's going to get out of my bin. He's been taking up way too much space. And Madeline. Madeline. Nothing special, just a small 9 inch Madeline. But it had the original tag, so at least that was good. That sold for $14.39. Home. This is a Boove Alien. These do not sell very well at all. I. Uh, basically giving up on these guys except for the the bad guy or the main captain Th that guy sells well but the the booth all the different color booths they, they don't go for much I mean I had them up for $11 couldn't sell them then so when I put the 10% off finally he sold so not a, an item I would really go out of my way to get uh, these Omnum cut the rope guys the different colors sell for a lot of money. The blue, the I think there's a purple. There's a whole bunch of different colors. This one alone sold for $13.49, but the other ones will sell for $20, $25. So keep your eye out for this funny face right here. <laughs> you find him, you're sure to sell it because they, they sell within a few weeks of putting them up. Uh, Disney Store retired Robin. This is Prince John. Uh, this is one of my buys from, uh, it was a, oh, I can't even think. It was just an outside, like, uh, store, like a flea market. Bought a bunch of these uh, with the tags for $2 each. And that's what he said. He said he wants $2 for them. I said, how much do I take if I take them all? And he took off a few dollars. He didn't take off much, but I knew they were all worth it because a lot of them were way better than this one. Anyways, I got eleven sixty nine for him. This one sold within the within a few hours that I put it up. This is a T Turtle reversible mini. There wasn't any C reverses from black to green. There wasn't any comps on it, so I just guessed. I might have guessed too low because he sold. Like I said, he sold super fast. Uh, put him up for fifteen ninety nine, and he sold for the ten percent off of fourteen thirty nine. What else do we have? Felix the cat. Uh, a lot of the white came off this guy. So he was severely damaged. He's 15 inches tall. You can see the white's coming off everywhere. 
right here so he was really damaged there was no way to fix that and that was his tag look at that nasty tag <laughs> uh, anyways he finally sold for fifteen twenty nine. <laughs> Uh, alligator, this is one of the realistic uh, sounds. Alligators have a bunch of these different animals. I have a monkey and I forget what else. I know I have a bison and a prairie dog. And Yeah, I bought a big lot from Wild Republic and he sold for fifteen twenty nine. Three have sold so far. I still have seven of them left. Mary Meyer. These I just put up a few weeks ago. I had two of them. They're really cool frogs. Still have the tags. They're called Flip Flops from Mary Myers. They both sold for $17.99. They sold right before the sale started. So good for me. <laughs> um, yeah, they, these are just terrible little cheap little ducks. <laughs> Well, someone wanted some ducks. So you can see this one's like five inches. This one maybe six inches, and the quality isn't great. That's why I just threw two together. Anyways, so someone wanted them, and they paid thirteen forty nine for them. The Gans Grumpy Cat. I just got him in too. Got him in, uh, say about a month ago. Let's see, floppy Grumpy Cat from Gans. He sold for sixteen nineteen. I actually just found another grumpy cat. Uh, he has like a mask and stuff on him, so I'll be listing him soon. Uh, this is one of my peacocks. Love selling these guys. I wish I could get some more, but they don't have a sale. <laughs> I haven't been able to get any more of these Wild Republic peacocks. Uh, this one sold for seventeen ninety nine with free shipping. I have one left, so. If anybody wants it. <laughs> uh, last but not least, I have a Gans Web Webkin Signature Red Fox. All these signature uh, Webkin sell for a lot of money. So keep your eye out. Let me show you what uh, to look for. It's like a gold. Uh, s instead of the different colored one, it's like a gold and white uh, thing on their paw. So yeah, you see that. You know you're going to be able to sell it for around $20. Gans is really good. Um, the signature series is really good uh, for profit. So, yeah, if you see those, um, snag them up. I mean, one dollar. I don't usually buy any plush more than one dollar, except for with their new tag or something like that. But if they're new tag, why not go for two dollars? Anyways, uh, that's all I have for you today. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, and don't fiddle fart around. Get all your listings up, guys. Come join me <laughs> in a few hours with Courtney on Bobo Buddies channel. Take care. See you next video. Bye.